a super simple silken tofu curry. And the story for this dish is actually pretty cool. I was over at my uncle's house for lunch. He's retired now, but he's owned a couple of restaurants during his time. So my uncle George actually made this a whole table's worth of food. Like there was taro, there was curry, there were like different greens, and it was absolutely delicious. And so this was one of the curry dishes that he made. He happened to be using silken tofu for the recipe, which I think non-Asian people tend to not use as much, but it's actually super comforting, especially in like stews and curries. It's so soft and it's so like warm and comforting going down. So um, I really love this recipe. So um, let's head over to the kitchen and then let's get started. Okay guys, so this recipe comes together pretty quickly, so I just wanted to show you the ingredients. So um, I have about a tablespoon of curry powder, I have some ginger powder, um, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. Recipe is gonna be down below. And then this is gonna be my vegetable mix. So um, I small diced about two to three uh, small carrots, and then to that I mix about three quarters of a cup of edamame. And you can use peas for that, but I kinda don't really uh, like the taste of peas, and I think that edamame has um, such a better bite to it, and it's really great for protein. Uh, as well. And then this is silken tofu. So this is the stuff that you see in the supermarkets. You'll usually use it for smoothies, but they're actually surprisingly uh, really good, you know, in stews and whatnot, as I have said before. So in a pan over medium high heat, you want to put about a tablespoon of just normal vegetable oil and then add your vegetables right in. Because you cut your carrots fairly small, this could probably go in in a minute, minute and a half. You're just looking to get a little bit of color on it and you're just going to kind of cook it a little bit before the liquids are added. After which you want to add in all of your spices. So um, turn down the heat to medium uh, and you just really want to toast the spices just so they kind of release their fragrance a little bit and then it will be better um, and more fragrant for the curry later. So after you just stir that around, you want to add about a cup of water or vegetable stock. I didn't have vegetable stock with me, but you're going to have a richer curry that way. So um, just add that in and then put a lid on it and simmer for, oh, I would say about like six to seven minutes just until the carrots get soft. And so that's going to be different depending on what size um, that you are. At which time you want to kind of prepare the, the slurry, which will thicken up the curry. So about a teaspoon of cornstarch with about a tablespoon of water. And then just mix that and put that aside. And then um, I just wanted to show you the toast tofu, but I had a little bit of an accident with it. Um, you can actually cut the tofu uh, inside the box and sometimes it makes it a lot easier just because it, it has a tendency to kind of fall apart because it is so soft. So um, afterwards you just want to add that slurry into your curry, bring the curry back to a boil until it thickens. So that will probably just take about a minute or so. Um, after which you just want to add in your tofu and then shut off the heat and then kind of like gently uh, stir that around because the tofu does have a tendency to just break into small pieces. This is the time when I usually like to add, adjust season. So I added about a teaspoon of uh, soy sauce to it, which really kind of brightens up and picks up the flavor just because it's a little bit salty and soy sauce is a little bit also um, tangy as well. But this is really up to you if you want to add, you know, a little bit more salt, maybe even a little bit more sugar, uh, do that. And then I have just a side bowl of white rice here and then um, that curry and it actually looks pretty darn good. I mean, I know that the tofu doesn't have much structure to it, but for that same reason, it is so, so comforting and um, nice as you eat it as well. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It was super simple, super quick, and super, super yummy. Um, as usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and um, I will see you guys again next time. Bye!